Well, that that ambiguity that you talk about, I, I, I love that in film as well, and, and and not only for the reasons that you've just articulated, but uh, you know, the past couple of years, uh, we've been studying on the show uh, the the films of Kubrick, and we've brought on about sixty of his collaborators, and and the one thread that keeps coming up is, is the ambiguity of his work, and I find that what that does is you can watch a Kubrick movie. At the age of 20, it can mean one thing, and then it kind of redefines itself when you watch right. it years later because you are different. You're bringing something different to it. You're absolutely right. Uh, you know, I continue to watch Paths of Glory in 2001, Dr. Strangelove, and The Killing. Mm -hmm. Those are the, the four uh, Kubrick films that, um, that have resonated uh, the, the most with me, uh, but I, I just I thought his work his work was a revelation when we saw it. I think the first thing I saw was the killing, and it's one of the great you know genre films. It, it's a B picture, but it transcends that. Mm -hmm. And then you know two thousand. It's hard to believe, but two thousand one was um, heavily criticized, if, if not ridiculed in its day by the critics. But it, it influenced a whole generation of young people. I didn't list that as one of the films that changed cinema. But, you know, in, in many ways it did. But, but things didn't go that way. Things mm -hmm. didn't go toward the mysteries of life or the ambiguity. They went the opposite way. Yeah. Um, but 2001 is the, the most ambiguous of all films. And the films that resonate with me are films like that where at the end of the film, it's left with you. It's left with the audience to make of it what you will. In many ways, The Exorcist was that, too. I'm not talking about the quality of The Exorcist versus 2001, but what peop I found that what people brought to that film, to The Exorcist, is what they took away from it. If you believe that the world was a, a dark and evil place, you know, where little children were were mysteriously destroyed from within, um, that's what you took away from the exorcist. If, on the other hand, you thought that there was a force for good uh, constantly at war with the darker forces within us, and that sometimes they would triumph, not always, but sometimes, that's what you took away from the film. The same mm -hmm. with 2001. You know, what is that slab? You know, to, to many people, the obelisk has no meaning or it's just confusing. To me, it's the most profound <laughs> statement of the mystery of faith I've ever seen in a film. Yeah. And the mystery well, you... of, of a kind of a divine presence in our lives that we we are not meant to understand it's the most seriously agnostic film i've ever seen mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. agnosticism being you know that a belief that the power of god and the soul are unknowable not that they don't exist but that they are unknowable and i think that's to me is the ultimate message of 2001 